Hey y'all. Okay. I am going to make a quick video to give you your homework key from yesterday so that you can check this out before you take your quiz. Okay. <clears throat> so it says if PX equals 18 mm, so PX is 18, then PY is 18 and PZ is 18. They are all going to be the same because remember a um, a circumcenter is equal distance from each vertex. So these are all going to be equal distance. And then um, WX is 12, so they want to know what's the entire thing. Well, if this is 12, then this is 12 because W is the midpoint. Therefore, the whole thing is 24. Okay, we already did 16, so now 17 is talking about the angles. So remember, every triangle has 180 degrees, so we're going to take away 90. That leaves us with 90, and then we take away 25, and that leaves us with 65 degrees. So that angle is going to be 65 degrees, and then... I guess you couldn't see that math. Sorry. Yeah, 65 degrees. And then we're going to take that 65 and we're going to cut that in half. I'm not going to do that. 65 divided by 2. That's going to give me 32.5. Because it's going to be a angle bisector. Okay, because this one down here is an in-center, which is an angle bisector which cuts the angle in half. Then, number 19, I already have plotted out for us over here, and they want that to be a circumcenter. So the circumcenter is created by the perpendicular bisectors. So what I need for each of the sides of this triangle is the midpoint. So, <clears throat> to find the midpoint, we'll start with X, Y, okay? X is located at 2, 1, and Y is located at negative 5, negative 3. All right, so what I'm going to do to find the midpoint is I'm going to take my X's and add my X's, divide by 2, take my Y's, add them, divide by 2. So with this one, I just put minus instead of plus a negative, but it's going to be the same thing. So this is going to be negative 3 over 2, and this one is negative 2 over 2. So this is really negative 1.5 comma negative 1. So that's the midpoint. So negative 1 and a half, negative 1. All right, and that's the midpoint for that. All right. Now, I also need to know the slope of x, y, so I can do the perpendicular slope. So if I look at this slope here, I'm going to count all the way up to I get to X. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So my rise is 4, and my run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So my perpendicular slope is going to be negative 7 fourths, and I'm going from this dot here. So I'm going to go down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then I'm going to use a box to be my straight edge. Ta-da! Okay, now I'm going to go to X, Z. Okay, um, X is at 2, 1. Z is at 0, 7. Okay, so I need to start with finding the midpoint. 2 plus 0 divided by 2, comma, 1 plus 7 divided by 2. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, comma. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I'm looking for the ordered pair 1, 4. 
one, one, two, three, four. So that is my midpoint. And then again, I need the slope of x, z. So I'm just going to count it out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So rise six, run one, two to the left, which makes it negative. So that is going to be six over negative two, which gives me a slope of negative three. So for perpendicular slope, I need positive one third because it's the opposite reciprocal. So from this dot, I'm going up one over three. One, two, three. Again, down one over three to the left. One, two, three. Wait, did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. And like that. Okay. Then we have to do Y, Z. And I'm going to show that one right here. Y is located at negative 5, negative 3, and Z is located at 0, 7. Okay, so I'm going to add my X's, negative 5 plus 0 divided by 2, comma, negative 3 plus 7 divided by 2. <clears throat> okay, 5, negative 5 plus 0 is negative 5 over 2, which is negative 2.5, and then negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4 divided by 2, which is just 2. So negative 2 and a half, 1, 2 and a half, up positive 2, 1, 2, so right there. And then we need the perpendicular slope to YZ. So I'm going to go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so rise 10, run 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, both positive up and right, so that's just going to give me 2. So my perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1 half. So from this midpoint, I'm going down 1 over 2, 1, 2. And using my straight edge. Bingo. So where is the circumcenter? Right there. It is at negative one, two, three and a half. So negative three point five, comma, one, two, three. And that's it. So there it is. That is going to be equal distance from each of the vertex. So the distance from here to Z is the same as from here to X, from here to Y. That is going to be equal distance. That is your circle center. Okay, so that's your homework review. You do have a quiz today. So good luck on your quiz. Use your notes, not your neighbor. And um, I'll see y'all soon.